CBS 4 News exclusive report, and tonight we're hearing from a 77-year-old foster mother who was shot three times while protecting children in her care. CBS 4's Peter Danch is live in Southwest Miami-Dade with the exclusive interview. And Peter, first of all, how is she doing? Well, Elliot, much better tonight. You know, it's a credible story. It's been a remarkable recovery for Wendy Edmonds since armed intruders broke into her home. She spent a month in a hospital, two weeks in intensive care. And we can tell you that even though she's confined to a wheelchair, her spirit is strong. I'm not angry about it. I feel sad about it to know that another human being would try to injure or another person for no good reason. Wendy Edmond nearly lost her life at 5 a.m. on August 31st. That's when police say Candy Johnson and her 17-year-old son, Christopher Edwards, burst into her house demanding Johnson's children, a five-year-old girl and two-year-old boy in Edmund's care. The 77-year-old Edmund fought back. Yes, I needed to protect them because, first of all, I didn't even know who this lady was. I've never seen this lady. And to open the door and say, I come to get my children, I couldn't just let him go. She was shot three times. The femur in her right leg was shattered. She has a rod in it. I have to have a wheelchair or a walker. Police say Johnson and Edwards were able to get away with the children. Would you do it again? Yes. Try to take the kids from you? Oh, they, yes. They, no, nobody coming to take the kids from me. Yes. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I'll do it again. Edmund says her insurance company may not pay for physical therapy for her. She and her daughter have launched a GoFundMe page for uncovered expenses. Right now, my mom, um, like her bathroom is not handicap accessible. And she has one and a half bath. And it's a tub. And as far as her leg and everything, we can't, she can't like just step over the tub. We need rails. Um, my mom also adopted two other kids. Despite this trauma, Edmund hopes to continue being a foster mother. How long do you want to be a foster mother? Just forever? As long as, I, as, long as I'm alive. So children need security, and they need somebody that they can say, love me. A lot of the children I've had had no one to say, Honey, I love you. You're a good girl or you're a good boy. Wendy Edmund has nine children herself and has been a foster mother for the past 10 years. She hopes to get back to taking care of foster children again after she recovers. That will take a while since she was shot in both legs. To find out how you can help her through her GoFundMe page, go to our website, cbsmiami.com. We're live in Southwest Miami-Dade, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.